सो स्टूडेंट्स हमारा काफी सारा जो कंटेंट है वो क्लास में कवर हो चुका था देर आर सम लेफ्ट बिहाइंड विच आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर थ्रू दीज रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स so the topic uh, for today's lecture is way what is way as i have already told you it, it is one of the uh, richest form of uh, protein that is present in milk it is actually the liquid that drains from the curd of clotted milk and it contains lactose proteins water soluble vitamins and also some minerals Whey comprises 20% of the protein in the milk. How much? It is 20% of the protein um, of the milk. So in the picture, you can also see that uh, when we strain the curdled milk, you can see the water that is coming out of the clotted uh, milk is uh, the whey protein. So two proteins which are alpha lactalbumin and beta lactalbumin constitute approximately 80% of the protein in the whey and these protein contribute to the viscosity and stability of the food when the whey protein is ultra filtered it is to be done that the concentrates of those whey protein can be created that may be added to the yogurt uh, and uh, it may be dried for the use in items such as coffee whiteners to create the thickness whipping topping chocolate drinks etc fir uski further purification steps bhi involve hote hain aur us further purification steps se hame kya milta hai whey protein isolate that can be effective in achieving the desirable textural properties that may be added in infant formulas to make it more enriched as a result of this action the tendency of the whey product promotes gel formation in the product uh, whey protein is also known as one of the um, quick supplements that is used by many of the um, weight trainers so that if they cannot take the uh, protein from their food they can compensate it by taking the uh, whey protein isolates or uh, whey protein concentrates by adding it in their uh, shakes etc shakes milk um, water whatever so whey contributes a good uh, amount of protein in food the next topic of uh, chapter milk is ice cream okay ice cream is known to be as a frozen dessert it contains at least 10 percentage of milk fat 20 percentage of uh, total milk solid and no more than 0.5 percentage of edible stabilizer it also gives the flavoring uh, particles to the milk अच्छा ये जो डायग्राम है इट एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन ऑल अबाउट द फ्रोजन डेजर्ट आइसक्रीम इसमें आप देख लीजिए एक इसकी कॉम्पोजिशन बताई गई है केमिकल कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ आइसक्रीम हैज द टाइनी फैट ड्रॉपलेट्स दैट आर सस्पेंडेड इन वाटर टू क्रिएट अ स्मॉल टेक्सचर एंड इवनली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इंग्रेडिएंट्स ऑब्वियसली ऑन फैट की जो है वो इमल्सिफाइड होते हैं fat present hota hai uh, in milk and maybe some more fat will be added to the um, ice cream uh, in the form of cream to make it more uh, smooth and more palatable you can see the fat droplets over here which is surrounded by milk proteins they are act as a good emulsifier which improves the mixing of the water and fat isliye wo ek acha emulsifying product aapke samne nazar aata hai okay uh, here you can see the overrun or oh, what is overrun that i will explain in uh, later slides lekin overrun you should know by percentage um, it is the expanded air which is formed in the making of ice cream the lower the percentages of overrun the thicker and denser the final product 
कि टेक्सटुअल प्रॉपर्टी उतनी ही इनहैंस्ड होगी जितना उसमें ओवररन जो है वो कम होगा एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू लेटर ऑन विद द डायग्राम व्हाट इज ओवररन एक्चुअली मीन सो फर्स्ट हियर यू कैन सी द टाइप ऑफ फ्रोजन डेजर्ट कॉम्पोजिट आइसक्रीम लो फैट आइसक्रीम फ्रोजन कस्टर्ड शर्बत मेलोरेन एंड पार्वेन and they all are categorized on the basis of their uh, percentage of milk fat and the total milk solid that is present in uh, them so uh, they are categorized on that basis you can see here that um, the difference in their milk per, uh, total milk solids and fat percentage preparation of ice cream this is one of the topics that is not uh, given in your big book in very much depth so um, ek flow chart ke form mein aapko explain karna hai na apne aapke understanding ke liye that is why i am explaining it very precisely first of all the cream sugar and other ingredients <coughs> are to be standardized then the process of pasteurization occur it is then homogenized then it is kept for cooling and aging why cooling is important the rapid cooling is important because of the textural property of the ice cream that i'll tell you later on after that aging aging means the ice cream is to be kept for some time so that the um, desired crystal particles can be achieved uh, along with the rapid cooling and agitation then partial freezing is done and after that the flavor addition is uh, done with the addition of some flavors fruits and nuts then packaging hardening and the uh, ice cream is kept in the frozen storage rapid cooling is important because um, it helps in the formation of very fine crystals which are essential to achieve the desired smooth texture while the slow freezing creates the larger crystals and as we all know that to have a good texture uh, texture of the ice cream the crystals should be very very fine and uh, agitation also occurs due to the same purpose and what happens when agitation occurs air which is like naturally present around us is actually incorporated into an ice cream mixture uh, by agitation it aids in achieving a comparatively uniform texture and uh, throughout it gives the temperature that becomes uniform another effect that uh, of agitation is that the fat globules which are present in the cream and uh, milk they coalesce right excessive air in the ice cream that may not be whipped into a mix as a, as specified by federal state standards so there are some standards that are proposed by the food authority if the excessive air that is present if not be whipped into the mixture it is not known to be as the standardized ice cream the increase in volume due to air is known as overrun as i have uh, given the introduction in the beginning so what is overrun it is actually the increase in volume percentage and it occurs in the ice cream uh, in which the agitation occurs here you can see that overrun has created 30% more volume in the same final product as the container to the right hand side which is without overrun and this finished product is in consistent with ingredients texture and color so there is no overrun occur in the right container how the overrun is calculated the percentage of overrun is calculated by the formula given in the slide volume of ice cream minus volume of the mix that is used divided by the volume of mix that is used multiplied by 100 percentage if the percentage that is the result that will be given would be the percentage of overrun 
For example, if a one gallon container of ice cream contains an equal measure of ice cream mix and air, it has 100% overrun. And an overrun in ice cream may range from 60% greater than 100%. So 60 to 100 ki between jo hai overrun range kar sakta.